the right coronary artery, which comes out from the base of the aorta, which you can't really see here, we'll see it later, goes along this coronary sulcus and it gives off branches that supply the wall of the right ventricle. And right over here, along this margin, you have the marginal branch of the right coronary artery. This is looking at the back of the heart. And this is the part that is referred to as the base of the heart. The base of the heart is right over here. It is in between where you have the pulmonary veins entering the left atrium. So the base of the heart is mostly the left atrium. Let's lift this model up off its, the diaphragm. And now you can see the surface that would rest on the diaphragm. This is referred to as the diaphragmatic surface. This model shows a structure very nicely. Uh, this structure is a remnant of a vessel which in the fetal circulation serves an important function, but in the adult heart is a remnant. And this structure is right over here between the aorta, right over here, and the pulmonary trunk. And this structure, which is labeled number 26 on this model, is called the ligamentum arteriosum. It is a remnant of the ductus arteriosus, which is a way that in the fetal circulation, blood is shunted from the right side to the left side of the heart.